guys so today I am making some basic banana muffins from one of my favorite series of cookbooks the company's coming series as you'll come to realize it is one of my favorite series of cookbooks so the first thing we're gonna go over is um, the tools you're going to need to make these muffins uh, you'll definitely need measuring cups and measuring spoons, um, a spatula. I know it looks kind of, it's my favorite spatula. I've had it for a long time. It has a nice scraper end, hard scraper and a soft scraper side, some bowls and somewhere to mash the bananas as well. Mom. You're going to need some cooling racks for when you're done. And of course, the banana muffin tins or the muffin tins which are underneath my stove at the moment so they will be getting pulled out right away look and who's... look who says hi this little yeah. kitty wants to get away yeah. out of the melon oh my goodness they're all coming into all the kitchen five, apparently <laughs> all righty then oh, hi, well we are going to continue on with our baking adventures. And I'm going to put some Making in basic those. banana muffins. Hey. Coming up next, the ingredients you're going to need. I'm okay. So next we're going to need our ingredients, which would be some all-purpose flour, bananas, milk, and I'm using evaporated milk. Yeah. Um, which I often do while bake for baking and cooking. Um, I will go through that in another video. Uh, sugar, brown sugar. And for this recipe, I will be altering the recipe very slightly and using ground up oats as a portion of the flour. Um, this gives it a little bit more hardiness and I feel makes it a little bit healthier as opposed to just using uh, the all-purpose flour. Um, kind of gives it a little bit of a bigger flavor, I feel. And we're also going to need some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And a large egg, wherever that is. It's over there somewhere, I believe. And some vanilla extract now realistically if you wanted your banana muffins to taste like a little bit differently you could use um, maple extract or any other type of extract but of course i'm just going to stick with this recipe a little bit and use the vanilla extract so one of the first things we're going to do of course is mash up the bananas so we're going to mash up these three bananas into the bowl then we will add all of the wet ingredients and the sugar so we're going to put the bananas the sugar the milk vanilla and butter or hard margarine melted um, i suppose you could probably try oil as well like a vegetable oil of some sort but I would stick to the uh, ingredients here and I'm going to use hard margarine melted so here we go now it's time to mash some bananas oh I don't know if this will work I hope it I hope it does the first thing we'll do, I will peel and mash up the bananas. These are not really as ripe as I normally would have them. See, these still have yellow on the skin. If I, when I normally make banana muffins, I really like to have blacked skin, basically. Uh, bananas because those are the sweetest you know they taste so good so first we'll break them up and 
see. I'm gonna mash them up really well with a fork. Mash, 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 mash. All mashed up. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, whoop. Mashed up banana. Now I am going to take my block of hard margarine. It's been left out for a few hours so it's nice and soft so that I can work with it. Seriously wish I knew where my darn tra tripod was because that would help a lot. So I've got my measuring cup. It's a third of a cup. I'm going to take my softened hard... I lose half of it apparently. Take my softening card margin. I'm glad I took two squares to soften up, just in case. Oh, I may. Oh, yeah, I probably will. All right, so I'm going to grab my other square of softened margarine. And thank goodness I softened up two squares. <clears throat> Wasn't quite ready for that, but. Oops, always more margin here, girl. So I'm going to squish it into the measuring cup. There we go, squish it in real good so that I know I have a third of a cup. Take my handy spatula. I'm putting it into a microwavable safe dish because we all know we do not microwave metal. Now if you choose to melt your margarine in another way, like say the stove top, or I don't know what other way you could do it, um, then that's your choice. Just of course, always do it safely. Okay, I hope that the video was good on while well, I had it laying there while we wait for the margarine to melt. There's the mashed bananas, the milk, of course, I'm going to measure right into the mashed bananas. So I need a half a cup of milk. So since I only have a quarter a cup measuring cup, here we go. Hooray for math. How many quarter cups? One quarter cup. Whoops, it easy. <clears throat> and two quarter cups to make half of a cup of milk. We're going to mix all the wet ingredients together, as I said earlier, including the sugar. So there we go, mixing some of that. Now I'll get some melted. Oh, ouch! That's hmm. melted. Let's do this into that too. I'm going to let it cool for a few seconds because I don't want it to let like, cook banana or anything. Let's make sure 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So of course I had it at 350 so we're going to push it up to 375 and finish mixing these delicious muffins. So we will need some sugar and an egg and a little bit of vanilla extract. So it says we need one egg, so I'm going to crack it, of course, outside of the, pop that in there. 